Welcome to Clinicsource's micro training videos. Today we are going to identify the settings and functionality of the CSC Remind Custom Reminder Service once you are enrolled. CS Remind is a new offering that allows you to customize the outgoing SMS and email communications to your patients. Let's take a look at the settings and functionality of CS Remind. Then go ahead and log in to our demo clinic here. And once logged in, I'm going to identify some of the settings that need to be, you know, adjusted or modified for CSC Remind. The first is going to be under patients. For each patient that you have in your clinic, you can go ahead and select the patient name. And on that patient's profile, when you scroll down, you will have a new contact list. This contact list will allow you to add various contacts that are pertinent to the patient in question. To add a contact, simply click the person with the plus key icon, and it'll drop down where you can enter the name, email, phone number, and type of contact that individual is, and save it. Once you add a contact, it becomes a choice when you create reminders. Another setting is under setup and facilities. Facilities is where your business information is. And for my purposes, I'm using a facility named Clinic Source Training or CSTRN as a default. At the very top of my facility, I do have the ability to upload an image. So we do have the ability for you to upload your logo as a JPEG, GIF, or whatever the file image might be. And this image will automatically be included in your reminders that go out. Next, under Setup Users and Therapists, we do have the ability to create summaries for your providers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my username. as a provider and open up my profile. When I scroll down on my profile, you'll see there's a new area off to the left called Reminder Settings. So I could choose to send Reminder Response Notification Email, which means every time a patient you know, confirms or cancels, I'll get that individual email back to me as a provider for each patient I have scheduled. I could also choose the ability to send a daily report which is at the end of the day, I'll get one email containing all the responses or choose both like I have identified here in my profile. So I get both those reminders. Finally, we can take a look at the reminders themselves. In reminders, uh, the screen has a little refresh functionality. So at the very top of the screen, you can see we can actually search now by contact name, contact information, which could be their email address, phone number, or even sort the reminders by provider, as well as by type of reminder and or status of the reminder. Over off to the left hand side, I have the ability of exporting this to a CSV file based on my sort. So if I want to send it to Excel, I could. And most importantly, we have a new icon just to the left called Manage Templates. Manage Templates allows me to create my own custom reminders. When I go to Manage Templates, I'm going to see all the templates as a default. The two template samples that you're going to receive our sample email reminder, sample SMS reminder. Please keep in mind these are sample templates. They're not forms that you can download from a catalog. So if you do edit our template, there's no getting back the original. When it comes to creating a new reminder for either SMS or email, off to the right hand side, it's highly recommended. You click the copy button. You can make a copy of it and then make any changes you wish. As an example, I'm going to go ahead and click copy of the email reminder. When I copy it, the screen will open and I'm going to have at the very top 
the name is going to say copy of, and then whatever the name of the document was. So I can say this is for my EI patients as an example for like early intervention. Could be anything. Down below, I can go ahead and then edit this form. So I can type in anything I wish. This is a reminder from, facility name, patient's full name. Maybe I don't want the patient's full name to be here. So I can go ahead and highlight patient full name, delete that, come up to the top and choose a smart tag and maybe say this is the patient first name. That's what I want to have as a reminder. So these smart tags allow you to choose what it is you want to have pre-populated into the reminder at the place you want to have it populated at just by clicking the cursor. And even next to hello, maybe I don't want just hello comma, maybe I want to put hello space and patient first name again. So I can go ahead and customize that the way I'd like to have, or even just type in any verbiage that I want to have. So if you do have Spanish speaking clients or Korean clients, you can certainly type this in the appropriate language as well. When you're done making your changes, simply save at the top left, save the template. So now I have a new template called EI Patients. When creating the rules, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit the template area and let's say I go to create my rules. I could do patient rules off to the left and select maybe a patient in particular, All right, Bob. I can go ahead in the main window, say I wanna do an appointment reminder for all appointments by email as an example. And when I choose email, down below you'll see I have the ability to choose a template name. If I want the EI template to be associated to Bob, I can go ahead and drop down and choose EI patient template. Something that's new is time before. So we now have the ability of defining how many minutes, hours, or days before the scheduled appointment to send a reminder out. The minimum appointment reminder time frame that we recommend is for minutes at least 30 minutes is the minimum anything less than 30 minutes to the start time of the appointment the reminder may or may not go out appropriately based on how you schedule your clients so again that's the minimum threshold to the scheduled appointment time that we recommend anything greater than 30 minutes not a problem. Up at the top right, we do have set reminder conditions as well as set reminder policies. Setting reminder policies is new. In the policy section, you can actually allow different parameters. So I can allow patients to reschedule by email, but if I want my patient to schedule by email, I'll check off the box appropriately, but I can also set parameters. If I choose the parameters, I can then define when a patient can reschedule the appointment up to. So maybe I can, you know, I'm going to allow them to schedule up to one hour prior to the appointment start time. And anything less than an hour prior to my appointment start time, they won't be able to reschedule. Like they're going to have to call my office. Same thing goes with cancellations. I can allow them to cancel by checking it off. And if I do allow them, I can define the parameters and I can maybe say, I want them to be able to cancel maybe an hour before the start time as well. When I'm done defining my policies, uh, to the bottom right, save the policy. And I can go back to the rule. Once I create the rule, certainly, you know, I can either preview the rule if I want to by clicking preview. And it's going to show me like a preview of the communication that goes out. And keep in mind, it's going to show you like the formula or the server field instead of the patient name because we're going to pre-populate it based on the patient in question for the reminder. You can certainly look at the preview and see the logo. Again, add the rule. And then your rule will be added appropriately you know, for the patient in question. You can still create multiple rules. Uh, what is customizable are emails and texts or SMS. Um, the telephone or the phone call 
reminder remains unaltered. So it is currently active as how it is today. Finally, the other update that we do have is the ability in the upper left for the therapist to look at their dashboard. In their dashboard over to the left hand side, you'll see that there's a reminders log. This reminders log will show the provider uh, the status of those reminders that went out. So there's you know different statuses for the appointments. Okay. And again, this reminders log is only for the patients that the provider has scheduled. So it's not the whole clinic. It is provider specific. So they can kind of see what's happening in their therapist dashboard. I hope you've enjoyed this little micro training video of the new CS Remind product. Thank you.